Hey Crazy Folders! In this video I want to show you my Mocking J from The Hunger Games. I have made this tutorial before but it wasn't that good and so I decided to remake it. What you need is a square of paper. You can use paper that has one right side and you will have at the end one right part on the tail feathers. If you like to have a complete one colored model you have to use paper which has the same color on both sides. In this video I will use 35 cm Kami paper but if you like to shape it nice at the end you should use paper which can shape it with water or MC glue at the end or self-made tissue foil. This one is folded from the handmade paper by Fabian Correa and it's a 31 cm square. So let's start. If you have a right side, lay it down on the table and fold the diagonal. Unfold and fold the other diagonal. Unfold again, turn it over and fold the paper in half. Unfold and fold in the other direction. Unfold and now we like to collapse the preliminary base. Now we need a bird base, so you can pre-crease it Open the first layer like this, turn it over and repeat. Now you fold one layer from the left to the right and fold this edge to the middle crease and also this edge to the middle crease. Like this. Unfold and fold this layer back to the left. Now fold the top layer down and you have this crease lines here. And where this crease ends, on this point, you start a valley fold like this. So fold this triangle down from this point. Crease firmly and then fold this tip up again to this edge. 
unfold these two folds and we have to open sync in and out on these lines. So open and we have to make mountain faults on the bigger square and valley faults on the smaller square. So we start with the bigger square And the smaller one comes up again. Can push on the bottom. Like this. Now we fold up this flap again and also the flap on the back side and we mount and fold on this line again inside and also this one so now we start a valley fold from this point up to here something like this so we have to fold this tip to this edge, not to this tip, but a bit under it. So open this layer and start the valley fold from this point. So push with your thumb here and then lay this tip on this edge. this and then crease on this part. Now we have to fold this tip, we fold it on this edge, on the middle line. So hold this flat and you have a crease line here. And this crease line have to lie on the middle crease and then crease like this. Don't crease this part, only this part. Then open it again and you have a valley fault here and a mountain fault here. Turn it over and repeat. Start from this point and fold this tip to this edge. Like this and crease. Now fold this tip on the middle crease line and notice that this line starts here and not there. So like this. You see this crease line. Then open it again and we have to collapse both sides together. So open this and fold like this. Rotate the model and we have to make a swivel fold. So fold this edge to this edge. The model will not lie flat after that. 
So you can fold until this point. And after that you have to fold this edge to this edge. So like this and then flatten this part. Now another swivel fold. Fold this edge to this edge. Like this. And it again will not lay, lay flat here. And you fold also this small layer to the side. And then fold this edge to this edge. Like this. Now put this part beneath that layer. Turn the model over and repeat. First fold this edge to this edge. Until this point, as far as you can. And without that small layer. And then fold this edge to this edge. And flatten. Now fold this edge to this edge. and also this small layer. And then this edge to this edge. Put it beneath the layer and rotate. Now you have crease lines here and on the other side and we like to have mountain folds on these two lines and crimp, crimp this part inside. So. Open this and push that in. And then flatten it so you can see here is a small part. It's not like this, but like this. Now we make a rally fold from this point like this and a mountain fold like this. and repeat it on the other side. Like this. Now we make a rally fold from 
this point to this point. So fold this wing down. And then up again, but with a bit space. So this edge and this edge will come together. And now we make a valley fold from the tip of the wing to this point where this angle middle part is. A valley fold. like this. And now we like to make a swivel fold here. So we fold, make a valley fold like this. And like this. So open open this and fold it over and fold this edge to this edge. Like this. Now repeat the faults on the other side. Now we open this tail part from the top and the middle. And we like to make mountain faults in the middle, here and there. So fold like this and like this. And then if you have this you make valley faults here and there and also in on this middle line. So push this together and don't flatten this part. It should be three-dimensional. So from the side you can go into this pocket with your finger and shape it a bit both sides and that's it. Now fold the whole tail with a mountain fold in half many layers so it's good if you have very thin paper. And when you have this you can curve the top part of the tail a bit like this. Now we have to fold the head. So open this part in the middle and also on the bottom and pull it 
like this. So now you fold this tip on this point where the hole is. This hole. So fold this to the hole and um, pinch, pinch like this. And then open it again and you have the pinch here and here. And you make a mountain fold like this and like this. And now you look from the bottom again and we like mountain folds from this pinch on the other side to this point here. So push it like this. Should look like this. Now again from the top we like to have the uh, mountain folds from this pinch mark up to here like this and like this. So push this in and make a valley fold and close it like this. And when we have this we can fold one side down and the other side to the back side. Like this. Now we make a pleat fold here to have the beak like this. Open from the bottom and Forward like this. Now look from the bottom and fold this edge to the middle line and also this part like this and do it also with the other side. And if you have this, close it again. Now we like to make the head a bit smaller so fold a small part like this and like this. And do it on the other side. Now we have to shape the wings. So we start with a mountain fold from the middle of the wing 
to here. like this and then a valley fold slightly beneath it like this and then repeat again with a mountain fault and a valley fault and so on. You can fold this edge beneath it and then continue like this. You can do the same with the other wing but I prefer to fold only two pleats there and fold this edge over so that it looks nice from one side because the wings are not over each other so you can see both wings from the side. So you can do it like you want. You can make it like this wing or you only make two pleats. Like this. Now we open the tail And so you have this whole tail and maybe something like this. You pull it to the sides carefully and fold this part up. And then make a valley fold between these two points and then a mountain fold like two mountain folds like this. And then again to valley faults like this and push it together so you can open it 
as far as you like and curve the tail and now is the point where you need good paper if you have folded it with thin paper which can be shaped wet or with MC glue you can curve this tail feathers nicely and you can make the neck a bit thinner and shape this head part and so on so something like this on my Flickr there's another mocking J shaping so you can look at this one and the other one and try to shape it also you can look at the original mocking J picture I will put it in the video description too so I have orientated on the poster of the Catching Fire Hunger Games film Mocking J. So try to orientate on it and shape it like you like it. And that's it. Hope you had fun and good luck with folding and shaping and see you in the next video.